Hallelujah. Your holy, our redeemed and king, our risen, yes, resurrected king. So hallelujah. You worthy. Hallelujah. Now we lift you up. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you for Jesus. all that you've done. God, yes, we're grateful. Thank you. Come on, we're grateful. Up we're grateful. Hallelujah. We're grateful, God. Hallelujah. For your redeeming power. We're grateful, God. Hallelujah. You for your, your shed oh, blood. God. Hallelujah. Thank the you, love. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, that you give us. We're hallelujah. grateful. We're grateful. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God. you, Jesus. Thank There's you. none like you. There's none like you, Jesus. There's none like you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, God. You're so high and mighty, God. Hallelujah, oh, mighty God. God. You up, hallelujah. Jesus. Wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wise Thank God. You, hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, Thank, God. You, Thank you, Jesus. Thank oh, you, God. Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's open up our mouths. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 We are gifted and talented, but we go to church every Sunday. We just sit on, uh, we just sit on the pew. So, so many of us are gifted and talented that you don't even want to serve. You just want, you want to be served. Amen. But you cannot be a good leader unless you are a great follower first. Amen. So we're going to pray and believe God for the vine, uh, this alignment in our lives. Amen. And I know this word today might rub you wrong. It might offend you. Amen. But I want to get us higher into God. Amen. I want to, I want us to walk in purpose because whatever you, whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. Amen. So if you're faithful over someone else's vision, God will make, you know, ruler over much. Amen. So God, we just uh, pray that we walk in humility. Lord, I pray right now that we will put down our agenda, God, and pick up your agenda. Oh, God, and even the ministries that we are at, Lord God, I pray right now, God, that we will put down our agenda and help come into agreement and alignment with the, the, the vision of the house. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we thank you, God, for the support. We thank you, God, for team
divine connections and, and people that, that, that will labor beside you in the gospel and the people that's laboring beside you that he's going to send to be on your team. And I just feel this anointing so strong. Amen. They're not going to even look like you. Amen. They're not going to even flow like you because we got to get out of our, our religious mindset. we got to get out of being comfortable. Amen. we got to learn how to love all people and how to like all people. Some people like people because they, cause they are similar to them. Amen. But we got to get out of our comfort zone because God wants to expand our territory. He wants mm-hmm. to expand and, 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 and our, enlarge and literally enlarge our, t- our territory, but it's not going to happen if you just keep focusing Amen. on the same group of people. Amen. God is calling us to minister to all people, to all nations. He's calling us to minister to the whites. He's calling us to minister to the African Americans. He's calling us to minister to the Indians, to the Latinos, all groups, the Asians. Amen. Amen. The Koreans. Amen. We got to get out of our ourselves and get out of our comfort zone. Amen. So once again, God is going to connect uh, you to different people. Amen. That's not going to look like you. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Well, God is sending us. Come on. We got to learn how to flow for all people. Some some people just so. I don't know. I'm going here, but somebody needs to hear this. Amen. All all some people know how to do is shout and holler. Amen. But who are you reaching? What? Hallelujah. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My phone's trying to act up. The devil is a liar. Somebody need to hear this word today because somebody about to get free today. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, God, I pray right now, Lord, that we can take off the religious yes, mindset. Yes. Lord, and I pray that we have a servant's heart. Oh, God. Yes. God bless us with patience. Some of us are anointed, but some of us don't want to be processed. Some of us don't want to wait for for you to open up the door. Some of us are just doing things, Lord, just outside of your will and your timing. Yes, Lord. God bless us, oh God, just to be in alignment with your will. Lord, yes, Lord. Thank we're going to praise you and seek you with our whole heart. Yes. Some people are on this line. You got to send it. You left them. You left that previous church in the wrong way, and I'm here to tell you today: never burn your bridges. Don't burn bridges. Don't leave a ministry in the wrong way. Yes. Don't do that. Don't go up here and start another church because you you got angry at the, the pastor. Don't do that. I mean, we got to be hearing from God before we step out. Yes. Before we start doing stuff. Come on, because literally, the word of God says God is not mocked. Whatever someone, uh, a soul, they're going to they're gonna reach that. So yes, we got to be careful. Well, God, do yes. a work in us, God, today. Do a work, God. Do a work, Lord. Lord come on. Hallelujah. Before God can bless us to walk in purpose and destiny, some character has to be developed. Some fruit yes. has to be formed and blossom up out of us. Come on, God's going to use us in, in, in a mighty way, but we got to put our pride down. Yes, Lord. Come on, don't let pride rise up in the inside of you because people start complimenting you, because people start saying nice things about you. It's not about us, it's about Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, well, God's going to take some of us. we got to walk in humility, or we can't walk through those doors. We're not going to be able to stay in those doors. Yes. And everything that we're doing is going to crumble if you don't walk in humility. Yes, Lord, help us. Lord, I decree and declare that we have the right motive when we go into the house of the Lord to serve. Because we're not uh-huh. serving unto a man. We're serving yes, Amen. God. Come on. Yes, yes, Lord. Come on. The, the, the word minister means servant. Come yes. on. We're going to serve. Amen. We're going to serve. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You have a capacity you can serve, whether it's yes. uh, in, in the background. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
challenge yes. your mind to lead and plot and scheme against the leader. I bind that spirit up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on now. We got to be faithful. Because one yes, day you God. might be a leader. One day you might yes. be called a pastor. You yes, don't want somebody God. doing something that you have done. Come on. Yes. What happens if, if those right. seeds take root of the things you yes. have did to cut your leader? Some of us yes, cut our leaders Lord. down with our words. We talked about them like they were dogs. We talked yes. about them like they were nothing. How would you like for somebody to do that to you? Yes. Forgive us, God. Holly, let's start to look. Yes, Lord. Well, I hope you forget something. I get a little bit bold. Amen. Yes, yes. Come yes. on, we got to do better. Yes, I know. Yes. And then people come on here. Some people hanging up because. The, the truth, I, I got to tell you the truth. The truth will set you free. Yes, yes. Yes, it will. Come on, we're we, we going to do better. Yes, amen. help us do better, God. Amen. Amen. Yes, you never God. know, amen. Lord. You might not even be pastor right now, but God may say, hey, they're mature enough. And 10 years from now, the line, amen, God is uh, putting you in demand. God is calling you to start a church. So we got to be careful what we're doing right now. Yes, God. Amen. we got to take this into consideration. I urge you today, amen, let's get our hearts right. Let's get our motives right. Some of us us want to connect to somebody because of a name. Come on now. We we, we lost um, true, genuine, spiritual mothers and fathers to chase after someone with a name. They didn't care nothing about us. Can I just be honest today? Yes. Mm. Come on, we we gotta take uh uh we gotta appreciate this relationship in our lives. Your spiritual yes, mother and father may not have a big name, amen. But those are the ones that God has designed for your life to bust yes. you out, amen. to be the midwife mm-hmm. or you know yes. in the spirit for you to help you. Come on, yes, Lord. We I gotta mean. value and honor these relationships. Some of us are so yes. quick to break covenant. God is a God of covenant. Hallelujah. Come on, let's be faithful where we are. Let's get planted so we can blossom. Let's Hallelujah. serve. Amen. I don't care if you go in there and clean toilets. Amen. That's an act of mm-hmm. humility. That's saying I'm putting down my title, God, and I'm going to vacuum yes. this church up. I'm going to come yes. and I'm going to clean up. Yes. I'm going to yes. come and I'm going to serve. Yes. Because guess what? You put the humility in me because I got a big head right now, yeah. and I need mm-hmm. you to do a work in me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you. Yes. When have we become so big? Some of us got so big in our own minds. Some of us are so puffed up that we can't even pick up a broom and sweep. And you see Hallelujah. trash right there? We walk over yeah. the trash. We walk over the tissues in the pews. Jesus. Uh, is that beneath us? Lord, help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, this is the Holy Spirit tear me up like this. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us today, Lord. I just pray that you do a work in us. God, I pray that we will walk in humility. God, I pray that we will walk in obedience. Lord, to you and our leaders, spiritual leaders. God, I pray yes, God. right now that we can receive from our spiritual leaders. If you know it lines up with your word, some of yes. us, we, 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 we can't take rebuke. Some of us, we can't take correction. Some of us, as soon as we get rebuked, we want to call it church hurts. Some of us, as soon as we get rebuked, we want to stop going to that ministry. As soon as we get rebuked, we don't want to yes. do, have anything to do with that. Amen. But guess what? As a, a natural parent rebukes their children, why can't a spiritual parent rebuke yes, their Lord. spiritual Amen. children? Yes, 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 Lord. Sometimes you don't want to hear the truth. It don't feel good, but it's necessary. Hallelujah. Yes, God. It is necessary. Jesus yes. learned obedience to the things that he suffered. Yes. Jesus learned obedience to the things that he suffered. And we're yes, going to learn Lord. obedience. Come on. Yes, God. Yes, Some of us in leadership position on here, I don't know who is this. Amen. And you're late every Sunday. You got to get it together. You're out of order. Yes, How dare Lord. you come into the house of the Lord late and you got a title. Come on. Hallelujah. We got to get this together. Amen. We got to be faithful. We got to support 
the vision of the house, the vision yes. of our leaders, like it's our own vision. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh Hallelujah. God. You want somebody to support your vision, to support your leader's vision. Yes, so God. Yes, God. Yes, you're God. You're to where you're, you want to go. Yes, God. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about your time, your investment, yes. your spiritual investment. Yes. Because one Amen. day, like I said, it's going to be you up there. Lord, I Amen. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, you tell us, Lord, that your church is built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, and Jesus Christ himself is the chief yes. cornerstone, Lord God. Yes. So we thank you, Lord God, for building these ministries, these churches, our visions, God, yes. on your yes. house. God, we thank you, Lord, that you are the chief cornerstone of our house, God, our temple, oh God. Yes, God. Oh, God, yes. we thank you, Lord God, that we're going to build our ministries, our churches, our organizations on the solid rock of Jesus Christ in yes, the gates God. of hell. We're not be able yes. to prevail against it. Yes, God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to carry ourselves. We're going to walk in a way that is pleasing to you, Lord. Yes. Come on, some people right now, you got to sit with someone. If you got something against your leader, and hear me by the Holy Spirit today, amen, you need to call them, you need to schedule a meeting, amen, or something, and just get that off and apologize. Come to yourself and apologize. Yes. Come on, get this thing right. It's not working. It's not amen. working hindered in your prayer. Yes, God. I don't know who you are on this line, but hear me by the Holy Ghost today. Amen. We got to get this right. Yes. Yes, Lord. Don't be on social media bashing the pastor. Amen. Come on. You Amen. got a problem? You got a problem? You need to schedule a meeting. You got a problem? Yes, Lord. Guess what? Maybe you don't need to be in that congregation. Yes, God. You got a problem? You need to go pray. Yes. Amen. Lord God, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, I pray right now that we have the right mindset, the right mentality, God. Oh, yes, God, God. If there's any wicked thing within us, get it up out today, God. Yes, remove it, Jesus. God, let us walk yes, in Lord. unity. Yes. Come on, somebody's mad at the leader right now because you felt like you were more qualified for that position, but they chose somebody else. Come on, let it go. Let it go. Maybe God Hallelujah. allows you to be overlooked for something because he wants to develop something in you. Yes, Lord. Come on. What's for you is for you. Amen? What God Amen. has for you is for you. And your time Amen. is coming. Your season is coming. You don't got to get yes. jealous with anyone else. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Some of us haven't, I don't know who this is, but some of us haven't uh, just trying to, we're operating in the wrong spirit by trying to outpray somebody. I'm trying to pray somebody or outpraise them or outdance them. Come on, that's so fleshly. Hallelujah. Come on, we got to grow up. Yes, uh, help us, Lord. Lord God, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, I just pray right now, Lord, that you can do a work within us. Oh, God. Yes, uh, oh, Jesus. You said, Lord, that your a word is alive and active, sharper than a two-edged sword. So, God, yes. we thank you that for your word. Sometimes it cuts. Yes. Sometimes it gets to the root of the issue. But we thank yes. you, God, for getting to those deep-rooted issues so you can set us free. God, I pray yes, for God. transformation. In the right name now. Of Jesus. Some of us, as leaders are discouraged. Some of our leaders are discouraged. We don't know what they're going through. Some leaders right now are praying, God, send me uh, someone faithful. Send me a team. Amen. Someone I can count on. Come on. Yes. Leaders deal with enough of flaky people. They need someone that's, that's loyal and just pers consistent in everything. Amen? Yes. Don't be one of those yes. flaky people. Come on, be there for your leader. Support your leader. Encourage your leader. Pray for your yes. leader. Serve. Amen? Yes. Serve. Yes. It's not about you. Serve. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. When I was in Colorado Springs, I came in as a servant. I didn't come in as a prophet. And you know what God did? 
He put my gift in demand. The pastor, Amen. listen, if you have a, a spiritual leader that's in tune with God, you need to hear this. They're going to see the gift on your life. My, my, my pastor in Colorado saw the gift in my life. He saw the oil on my life. And then he said, okay, you're a prophet. I didn't tell him I was a prophet. I came in as a servant. I came in as, as Sister Kimberly. I didn't come as prophet mm-hmm. as Kimberly. Mm-hmm. And he said, okay, well, prophesy to me. So when you, whenever you say, okay, I got this title, X, Y, Z, you got to be proven. I prophesied mm-hmm. to this man. God showed me that he sleep at night with a CPAP machine and all kind of things that nobody could have known. Amen? Mm-hmm. Amen. And then he said, who told you this? Who this and that? And then the next Sunday, he he gave me the mic. And I was like, I don't even want to, I don't even like to talk. I don't even like to be in front of people. I, I'm, I'm such an introvert. But God was calling me to get out my comfort zone. When you go in as a servant, you have a servant mentality, guess what? Everything else is going to follow. Yeah. Come on, God's going to raise you up. When you humble yourself in the sight of God at the right time, he will exalt you. Yeah. So not only was I, well, not only did I get the mic, he put me on a preaching schedule. I preached every fourth Sunday behind the pulpit. Then he put me on the church board, and then I got the key to the church, and I could go to church anytime I wanted to. Then yeah. I, I, and then when I came as a servant, I was the secretary of the food bank. I was ordering food for this humongous food organization. Yeah. Come on now. I vacuumed. I did the bathrooms. I labored in prayer. I came in as a yeah. servant, and God promoted me. He exalted me in that congregation, in that ministry. Some of us get it backwards. We want to be served. But we don't want to. I'm telling you, some of us, oh, Jesus, we, we, it's like we want to be worshipped. we got to get this thing together. Mm-hmm. You want to be served, but you don't want to serve nobody else. Amen. Come on. Man. I don't care if I if I never get a platform again, if nobody never invites, I don't care. Amen? Because I know true ministry is not about being behind a pulpit or on a flyer. Yeah. Come on now. Amen. Why do you think I'm up, I'm up here every day praying? Because I know that when, when we pray and I feel God every day, that's, that's good. That's good for me. I love yeah. feeling the presence of God. I love seeing people get blessed and healed and delivered. I love it. I want to trade it in for the world. Yes. Yeah. I'm serving you right now. Yeah, your flesh may be cut. Come on now. But you're going yeah. to change. Yeah, you may be convicted, but you're going to change and bear fruit. Yes. Come on now. I can't always give you a good word. Some people just want words that tickle their ears. I can't always give you those kind of words. We got to bear fruit. Yes. Some of us late to church every day, and you're in leadership. How does that make the house look? Bad. You're supposed to setting a, an example. You're doing it unto God. Yes. We got to get, we got to get, and this, this, this is what vexed me. Amen. Amen. I'm like, God, I can, I can wake up two hours early to go to work somewhere and clock in. Oh, yeah, not a break today. But, but church, come on, we got to do better. Yes. We need to be on church, church on time. We need to go to bed early, the same way you go to bed early for work. We need to keep our words. You tell yes. your pastor or whoever, you know, you're going to do something, do it. Amen. Come on. Yes, yes. We got to do better, especially in the church. In the church, yes. it's always those church folk. Come on, it's making the body of Christ look bad. Yes. We got to do better. You know, we we offended at someone. Come on, let this stuff go. Sister, yes, sister, so and so ain't saying this to me. Maybe she uh, has a lot on her mind. Why don't you yes. go to sister so and so? Why don't you give her a hug? Why don't mm-hmm. you pick up the phone and call sister so and so? Come on now. Yes. Amen. I know how Amen. I feel. I, I work with so many pastors on churches. And for some reason, they trust me. I don't see pastors smile. They have no food in their house. And then the Lord, when he blessed me with money, I, you know, I had to buy them food because I knew. God didn't show mm-hmm. me their business for nothing. Come on. God didn't bless me for nothing. Yes. You know. 
You don't know what the, 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 the apostle, prophet, pastor are going through. You don't know. So don't get mm-hmm. offended if they don't want to stick around afterwards. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I, this thing get on me, and I get a little bold. And... Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, whew, we, need, we need to start serving more. Amen. You are talented. Yeah. There's so much anointing on... When I look at some of you guys, I'm like, dang, they're anointed. Stop mm-hmm. holding back in your gifts. Yes. Come on now. Yes, boy. We need to close our eyes. When I, when I first started prophesying, I was so scared. I was like, ugh. But I closed my eyes and I pressed in into the spirit of God. Amen. I didn't care who was in the room. Amen. Amen. You're so talented. Let's do things unto God. You got to close your eyes and tune everybody else out to tap into the presence of God. Do that. Do that. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to I wanna pray for finances on here. Lord, bless finances for the people that need finances. Bless the people with jobs that need jobs. Bless them with employment. Lord, bless them with promotions. If they believe in you, God, for promotion, I, I yes. decree increase in their lives in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray right now, God, if anyone is discouraged, that they will be encouraged today in, yes. the, name in the name of Jesus. I'm going to open up this line today. Amen. Every call is different. Not, not every time where we can uh, prophesy, not every time where, you know, we'll pray for the sick, whatever. Amen. I, I, I'm just led by God. Amen. So let's open up this call today. Um, I want to hear from the lady this morning, the man that came forth. She had the, the fibroids. Uh, I'm here. Okay, give us an update. Victoria. Uh, right? I'm praying hey. Victoria. Hey. Is Victoria, is Victoria, is Victoria here? Um, Victoria called me this sister Angeletta. She said she couldn't be here, but she asked me if I would come forward for her. And she said she Hold on one second. Feels Hold on. Somebody got the background. Go ahead, Miss Angeletta. Um, Victoria just called me. She said um, she's out of area and she couldn't get on the line, but she wanted me to give her testimony, if you would allow me. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, she says, she says uh, she's still feeling the fire of the Holy Ghost mm-hmm. in her stomach, and um, she said it's working. She said God is still doing a work on her. She said she's feeling fire, fire. Mm-hmm. Fire. Amen. Uh, Sister Victoria and I have been prayer partners uh, off and on when we can get together for years, and she just called me at 11:30, and I've been trying to. I introduced her to you, and I did tell her if she can't get through to you, that she could email you. Yeah. But she said uh, she asked me if I would get on and. Um, I told her I would, and I had planned to. Uh, I moved from Miami yesterday. Okay. And there's thunderstorms and hurricanes, and I've been praying, praying, oh, wow. praying. And I had just got off my knees from praying for the weather in this yeah. area um, for the people. And um, when I say just got off my knees and called my daughter. I said, I got to get off the phone. I got to take this call. And it was her. And she wanted to give a testimony. She said she was on the phone with you this morning. And you called out, and she responded. And she said she's still feeling it. And she said, thank you. And she's still walking in it. And she will join you when she can join you. But she said Mm -hmm. she's out of area. And uh, the time difference is... um, a little bit off, but um, she sends her testimony and uh, her prayers and thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. Uh, for standing in uh, proxy. 
Uh, much love. And we're going to also pray, uh, how's your, um, you say your grandbaby? How, how's your grandbaby? <sighs> Keep praying, please. Please. Okay. Please. It, it's been a difficult situation. I didn't want to move. Like I say, there's things been going on over eight years. I felt like I was in the middle of a burning hell. And wow. when it interferes with your life in God, mm-hmm. and I just say, Lord, I can't take it no more. I cannot. I can't. God first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added unto it. It was hard to do, but I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to put it. I I just had to walk away from everything. Someone gave me refuge and so much you said already, uh, job, everything, money, this, that I stepped out on faith, and I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. My pastor was not happy with me leaving. I was in a leadership position as outreach and they just said but God but God but God I said but you're not in my position I'm mm-hmm. about to the enemy is trying to cause me to have a nervous breakdown and the devil is mm-hmm. a liar I Jesus didn't stay around and let the devil walk all over him he didn't and that was not my house it was my stepfather's house, and they don't want to receive Jesus. A prophet is not received in his own home and in mm-hmm. his own country. It is scripture. Oh, so God. I didn't want to end up in a hospital when doctors are telling you that you, you're taking someone else to the doctor, and they saying, you need to be seen too. Dr. Jesus has me in the palm of his hand. So I was offered, my brother's mother um, told me, she said, that enough is enough. She said, um, pack your stuff, come. She reached out her hand to me. I packed my stuff and I left. You, know, you have to, you know, follow uh, what the Lord's telling you to do. And I know, like, and as leaders, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's and it's, it's a Sister hard Vicky to let people prophesied go. Sometimes. In the spirit. Sister Vicky prophesied in the spirit to me. Mm-hmm. And she said, the Lord, is, she said, he, he said, go. He, he yeah. you know, we've been friends for a while, and she just went off, you know, I d- didn't expect it, and I just was writing, and she was praying and praying and praying. It's, it's your time. It's your time. You know, enough is enough, you know. And... I wrote and, you know, I could feel it. I could feel it that it was God, that the prophecy um, was true. You can let's go ahead and, in the spirit. Yes. Let's go ahead and pray for your grandbaby, and we're going to pray for you. All right, Father, let's. Lord, we just look up uh, uh, Angeletta's grandbaby. We speak killing right, over her. We just bind up the stubborn uh, spirit that keeps trying to attach itself to her grandbaby. God, we just thank you, Father God, for miraculous healing right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for deliverance, God. God, you said when the righteous cry for help, you hear them and you will answer all their troubles. So, God, we thank you, God, for deliverance right now. Thank you, Lord. From this baby. In the name of Jesus. And God, we pray right now for Miss Angeletta. We pray yes. that, Lord, you will keep her. Lord, shield her from demonic attacks. Cover yes. her dream life, God. We just open every seed of the enemy planted in her mind. I declare, yes. declare that she will not have a nervous breakdown, that she will not lose Hallelujah. her mind. God, yes. I pray peace God. over her, God. I in pray right now, Jesus. Lord, that there will be no lack in her life, that you will pro- yes, supply God. all of her needs, God. And God, yes. I thank you that you will order her steps, God. And God, yes. I thank you, Father God, that if she's weary, Lord, we bind the weariness off of her and we speak yes, strength God. into her. We speak joy in into her. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And God, I pray right now that you will just 
uh, give her out point of your spirit right now for Ms. Yes, Angeletta. Lord, and I thank you that you are touching her right now. And I just feel the fire of God burning in your belly. And Lord God, I thank you, Lord, that you are consuming her right now with your yes. presence in the name of Jesus. In the name of she Jesus. has felt weak and tired before. I thank you that she will get a, a, a spiritual awakening right now, refreshment yes. right now yes. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God, I pray for each and every one of us on this call. Some yes, of us are God. tired. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. If you're tired today, just lift hands right now. God, we can send your fire right now. I think you're going to spiritual awakening upon each and every one of us. Oh, God, I pray that you stir up the gifts and activate inside of each and every one of us. Give us peace. I decree the name of when Jesus. I lose our mind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, touch us right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' touch name. Touch us right now. Right in now, the name in of Jesus' name, Jesus. Hallelujah. God. Let us free God. Yes, Come on, God, some of us have been feeling name. attacked in our minds. Some of us are feeling confused in our minds. Some of us yes. are feeling like you're about to lose your mind. We come Hallelujah, against that now God. in the name of Jesus. In the name of we bring Jesus. every ounce of witchcraft that was placed against us in the name yes, of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We break fogginess yes. and haziness right now in the name of Jesus. We yes, break in the name that. of Jesus. We break it off of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Each and every one of us right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. I just feel the wave of glory. Amen. The next prayer assignment, if you don't know, I want you to stay put, amen, because we're, we're going to go hard for mine. We're going to be praying hard for mine, amen, mm-hmm. because the enemy thinks he's slick. That's one of his tactics is to take over our mind. You know, just mm-hmm. like the computer, if you destroy the CPU or the, the, the central processing unit or the motherboard, mm-hmm. amen, you take the whole system down, it's no good, amen. Mm-hmm. So if the enemy attacks our mind, you know, our, our thinking, our brain, amen, it's no good, amen. Yes. So just like Hallelujah. when people are on life support, you know, their heart could be functioning and, you you know, they might have mm-hmm. uh, the vital signs and things like that are good on a monitor, but the doctor said they're dead because they're brain dead. So once yes. someone is brain dead, they're considered clinically dead, and mm-hmm. it's, it's no good, you know, because they can't think for themselves, amen, it's yes, a, a living vegetable, amen, so that's why the devil is fighting hard to take over the people of God's minds, but we got to Hallelujah. war, yes, we, every day, we got to keep our, I'm telling you, amen, for your, like the woman of God said for her own sanity, she had to kind of get away. You know, even though she was in the leadership, leadership position. And then for my own sanity, I got to go and, and have God pour back into me every single yes. day. I, yes, I got to go feel away. I got to have yes. a touch from God. I got to feel his yes. fire every day. Yes, because God. For my own sanity, you know, as much stuff as I deal with, amen. Yes. God wants people, uh, our, he wants our mind to be free. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Every day we, yes, we have to renew our mind. Yes. For your own sanity. Yes. Some of us are making assumptions, and it's not even true. Some of us are yes. think the wrong things. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Lord. So we're we're going to be going hard in the, in the next couple yes. of weeks after we finish up this book. We're going to yes. go hard. Amen. Praying for mm-hmm. minds, and a lot of us are going to get free. Some of us are going to be purging. Some of us are going to be yawning a lot when we be praying for this. Amen. Yes, Some of us are going to be crying and welling. Yes. No, but we're going to get free. Yes. Amen. No more Amen. thinking negative. No more walking in offense. No more thinking Amen. that stuff is about you. I had two statuses yes. yesterday about rejection. I said rejection yes. will have you thinking every status on Facebook is about you. I said, won't you stay on social media for a while? And go get in God's presence so God can kill you. Yes, God. That's what rejection will do. I, my other status was rejection will cause you to try extra hard to try to fit in, to try to do yes. good work so people can like you. Some people will never like you. That's Come right. Come on. You don't got to buy Hello. nobody's love. Amen. You don't got to buy nobody's attention. Come on. Yes. You give them $500. What now? Mm-hmm. What now? Come on. It's not going to change nothing. They'll probably, okay, look at you for a few minutes to get that seed, and they'll keep moving. Mm-hmm. Come That's on now. Right. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna get free, amen. 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 
Sorry. Who else? Who else? Anybody else got anything? A praise report for anything they would like to say about today? Oh, praise God. This morning, um, praise God. This is Carolyn in Charlotte, and um, I wanted to say when you're praying for the sister with the fibroids, um, though I don't have not been a doctor for that, but I did feel healing in my body, in my lower part, and my um, upper part. So the the, the healing power of God. So I thank God for that. And we pray about a home. The Lord has brought a home, and I believe God to close on it at the right price. So we prayed about that in Jesus' name. So I thank God for confirmation, uh, for the doors opening for me to walk into the new season of ministry. And, you know, just some, the great things he has in store for us and me, in Jesus' name, my family. Amen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Amen. You said yesterday I was I got on late, but uh, you said I expect God to do your phone went out. Your phone went There's out. Some things that, to do I told her, get on the prayer line. Uh, what's her name? Janine. I'm not sure she's on, but I said, get on the prayer line. Uh, believe God for, uh, there's a lot of attack on her life, as you mentioned earlier. Probably, uh, uh, Kimberly. And, uh, we had prayer session in, her, in the house. I'm looking at mine. So to God be the glory, you know, we, uh, not only look at the place, but also we gave the ministry one to another and, and, and encourage her on her new season God was preparing her for. So I'm humble about that and thank God for just divine connection. Now, it wasn't just a routine day, but all of us got ministered too, including the relatives. She got ministered too about her business and what God's doing in her life. So I'm just humble that, you know, he used my hands, feet, my mouth for his glory in this end time, even though, you know, I have desires and needs, and, but he he gets the glory out of it. And through that, everything will come in line in Jesus' name. So yeah. praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 That's, that's awesome. Anyone else? Yes, this is Devin. Um, you prayed for me maybe last week on the six on the morning call. I was telling you about the dreams I had been having, and um, you prayed for me, and I am no longer having those dreams. Wow. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Um, about about two that's days special. after that. Yeah, I was having sexual dreams. Um, about two days after that, the Most High gave me a vision of a soul tie that I hadn't broken. He showed mm. me the person. And I was able to pray and break the soul tie. And I haven't oh, had a yeah. dream since then. Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Prophetess? Awesome. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, this is Coretta. I just wanted to, I'm glad she mentioned dreams. I kept trying to jump in, but I'm at work and I keep having a mute. Um, I used to dream a lot. And um, for a while, I guess I went through this season of, I'm sure I was dreaming because I can remember like vague little memories of the dream. And so I started praying and asking God to, you know, give me dreams and give me understanding of my dreams because I have in the past been able to interpret a couple dreams. Uh, but, like, for the last three nights I've had a dream that, you know, each dream was very vivid to me. So I praise God for it. But I just wanted you to pray with me and stand in agreement that I begin to understand what God is saying to me in those dreams, what he's trying to tell me. Father God, we just look up Coretta. We just touch and agree today, yeah. God. God, we pray, Lord, now that you can reveal to her what uh, the dream's about, that she'll be able to interpret yes, the dream, to give her her own interpretation of the dreams, God. Yes. Lord God, just like a Daniel, just like a Joseph, God. Yes. Lord God, yes. that gift will clear up inside of her, God, that she'll be able to hear your voice clearly. God, I need yes. understanding and direction. Yes. And God, I thank you, Father God, that you'll be able to answer, God. Thank Lord, you, Lord. Are seeking you for? God, we yes. thank you, Lord, just for wisdom thank in her dream life. Thank you. Yes. And, and give her knowledge about it, God, that she yes. can know how to apply it, Lord, and, and yes, make God. it and work the principle for your glory. God, we yes. thank you, Father God. Thank oh, you, Oh, God, Lord. that she will know you, what you are saying, plain and simple, God. Yes. yes. Speak to her. Yes. Speak to her, God, the same way, God, that you would tell me something that I had dreamed in a dream, God. Just speak to her. Make it plain and simple, God. Thank you. Oh, God, God. God. make it plain so there will be no confusion. Make it plain, God, so she yes. will know, God, what yes. is her yes, next God. step. Thank you. Make yes. it plain, God. Thank Don't you. step to the order by you, God. 
Yes, God, Lord, three Jesus, nights God. in a row, God, it's not like a confirmation. You said, yes, Lord, you can things between two or three witnesses, yes, God. God. Yes. So God, we thank yes. you, Lord, that you are speaking. You, she, God, you, she, she is at, at full attention, God, and waiting, yes. God, for yes. her to, to, she's waiting, God, for to, to you, receive God. from you. Yes. God, I bind up any distractions when it comes to yes. our hearing. We live to hear you, God. Okay. I pray that yes. each and every one of us will be on, in sync with your spirit. Yes. It will be yes. in tune yes. to be able to receive in the name thank of Jesus. Lord. And I thank you. I bind up any ounce of confusion right now in the yes. name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In mighty name. Amen. Thank you, I also received, thank you for praying. I received what you said because I was going to ask for prayer about uh, some money that had been held up that belonged to me. Uh, I think it's been about three years now, but I just, I received what you said earlier because you said something about releases of finances. So Mm -hmm. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. And keep on decreeing every day. God, I thank you for my my financial harvest. I thank you for my financial harvest. Keep thinking, you know, for every day. Make your decree. Okay, thank you. I can't, I can't stress that enough, you know. If you believe you got for something, you know, you got to work it. You got to yeah. open up your mouth and make those decrees. I have to do it in my own walk. Amen. Just like that washing machine and dryer. I said, oh, my yeah. time next week. Yeah. I had to decree that thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hallelujah. Well, my laptop, I had to decree that thing. So you just got to work it. Just work it. Amen. Amen. So, you guys, I want to also pray for the weather. I know it's been crazy. And I also want to pray for, your, your, uh, for you guys to have a good holiday. We just come against the attacks and the weather. We come against yeah. natural disasters, earthquakes in yeah. our region. Yeah. We come against the hurricanes, the tornadoes, the flooding, yeah. Yeah. the hell, the storms. Lord, in the name of Jesus, and God, I pray that you will keep us safe as we travel, keep our house safe, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Wherever we lay our head at, at night, you even bind up fire, house fire, uh, electricity, uh, in the name of Jesus. We bind up any sickness that will try to attach itself to us. We bind up pneumonia, the flu, we bind up every these symptoms, in the name of Jesus. Keep us and our children. We bind up the stomach virus. In the yes, name of Jesus, name keep Lord. us healthy, God. Yes, Lord, God. find up any uh, high blood pressure, hypertension, this holiday yes. season as we go forth and eat certain food. God, this bless us, God, to walk in total health this holiday yes. season. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name, of, name of Jesus. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So, you guys, um, I want to make some announcement. Amen. Um, if you have not listened to the Monday Motivation, go on my YouTube channel. Go and listen to those Monday Motivations. They're going to bless you. Amen. My husband's working hard behind the scenes to make, make it possible. Uh, oh, I can't even talk. Next month, I'll be in um, Grovetown, Georgia, for this moment, Munch and Empowerment. You can register today. The flyer's on my Facebook uh, it's hosted by Shanita, Minister Shanita Gregory. Amen. It's a twenty dollar registration fee, but I'm telling you, women's lives are going to get changed. I can't wait. You get uh, t-shirts, uh, door prizes, and lunch. So that's awesome. Amen. So um, what else I want to say? School to Profits class to start January the third. I can't wait. Amen. Three months of training. Amen. So I'm just I'm so excited about what God is doing, you guys. But I pray that you take heed to this word today about just serving in your church. Amen. Amen. Our relationship with God is more than just going to church on Sunday and Wednesday. That's Amen. that's a corporate Amen. gathering. So what about your private life? Amen. You know, we say that again. See, when you listen, you got to bring an anointing to church. That's why you ever notice the... Uh, the corporate anointing is stronger than what you have in your personal anointing, the personal anointing on your life. Mm-hmm. What, what am I saying? That means, hey, in a, in a room full of people, God's going to do miracles because of the corporate place, the corporate setting versus mm-hmm. in my prayer closet. That means, hey, mm-hmm. we're all putting our, our anointings are joined together and it's going to mm-hmm. be a move of God. Yes. But you should Amen. be contributing to that somehow. You should be mm-hmm. so anointed that, hey, 
if you go to a dead church, you're bringing Jesus with you. You're bringing mm-hmm. the Spirit of God with you. Mm-hmm. You should be so anointed mm-hmm. that, hey, when you go outside of the church, the gift still works. Yes. Amen. You on, you on Walmart, the grocery store, whatever, the restaurant, mm-hmm. and, and something pops off, and the Lord tells you to pray for somebody or prophesy. Should, the gift should still work. Mm-hmm. Amen. So I want us to change our mentality. You know, many people, they, they, they don't want to do anything in God. Come on. That's one of my biggest regrets is sitting in church for 10 years, just warming up the pews. I, I, people was like, let's do this, let's volunteer. I was like, nope, 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 nope. That's one of my biggest regrets. And I was like, man, I was tripping. You know, serving God is fun. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, I just, this is my life, you know, mm-hmm. so hard. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. So I, I, I urge you today, if you get nothing from today, amen, please get off the pew. Go sign amen. up, go volunteer for something. I don't care if it's children's ministry. Do it. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's a parking lot attendant. Do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you got to labor and prayer every day. If that's not your forte. Amen. I don't care if you got to, you know, labor and prayer, like post on your social media. How can I pray for you? And pray for them. Mm-hmm. Honestly, pray for them. Don't just have people mm-hmm. posting to make yourself look good. No, pray for them. Mm-hmm. Serve. For the talents you got inside of you, serve. Whatever, you know what your talent is. Serve. Amen? Mm-hmm. Give it back unto God. You see a lot of mm-hmm. people that were talented, and they started off right in the beginning, and now they sold out. They serving the devil with the talents. Mm-hmm. So let's serve unto God. Amen? Mm-hmm. You'll get anything Amen. today. I know sometimes some of us are not even in church, but you still can serve with the, your, your, the gift on your life. Mm-hmm. Amen? Amen? You can still Amen. connect with a ministry, a ministry that may not even be mm-hmm. local and say, mm-hmm. how can I serve you? What can I do to help? Yes. You know, I don't, I don't mm-hmm. have a church building, a physical building, but I still do full-time ministry. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen? And I think Amen. everybody... For that, that's helping out behind the scenes. Cause I couldn't do what I do without help. Amen. 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 So each, each each of us should be serving in some capacity. You know. Amen. Mhm. Just like the the people that's over me, the person that's over me, I serve. How do I serve? You know, by supporting the ministry, the books. I share the books. I share the flyers. Amen. I mm-hmm. serve. I sow into it. The vision, you know. Amen. Amen. If I if I could get there, you know, I, I I'm like okay. I don't want the mic. Don't give me the mic. You know, I want to mm-hmm. throw sheep on people. I want to, you know, catch the people. You know, I got to work mm-hmm. out and build my muscles up to be able to catch people. But still, you know, I want to I want to mm-hmm. serve. You know, I always, mm-hmm. I always have a servant's heart. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 You can serve in some capacity. And I pray that God will give you creativity to show you how to serve. Mm-hmm. That's going to mm-hmm. bless you. I'm telling you. If you want God to promote you, you got to serve. Look at yeah. look at the life of Joseph. Amen. Mm-hmm. He was a slave. He was a strict servant for years. Mm-hmm. But then when he did get promoted, he got promoted in the in the major way. Mm-hmm. To the second mm-hmm. in command. Mm-hmm. All about serving. Sure did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I urge okay. you. Amen. Serve your leader. It could be something corny like, hey, pastor, you know, can I bring you something to drink? Something. You know, just, you're not trying to kiss up or nothing like that or be a water boy or nothing like that. You just want to serve. Amen? Because you're doing nothing to God. Amen. You know? Amen. All right. So I pray the Lord bless you. Amen. I know it's kind of tough Amen. a little bit. I know some some people hung up because I was like, no, oh, I don't want to hear that today. Man. You know. Tell the truth and shame the devil. <laughs> yeah, we we got to get out of ourselves, Amen. Amen. Literally. Amen. And if, if if you have the hand of God on your life, you know you can't get away with nothing, right? That's right. If Amen. you got the hand of God on your Amen. life, you go you gonna reap what you have been sowing. Mhm. Amen. 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 You want somebody else to, to serve you? And I'm not talking about just being pimped out or nothing like that. 
I'm not talking about being used or abused. But you say, okay, John, I, I want to give back to you. And the way you can do that is by serving. Because it's going to keep you humble. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 It's going to keep you humble. Because that pride, that Leviathan, ooh, that's something that a lot of us fight with on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen, sir. Amen. You're doing it unto God, not to men. Amen. Sometimes it may be a soul in the spirit, like, oh, Lord, suck it up. Suck it up. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. When Amen. God moves you, you got to move. See, David had no other Amen. choice to leave. You know, he, mm-hmm. he stayed as long as he could. But when Saul threw that javelin at him, tried to kill him, then he had to get up out. Amen. That's right. Amen. All right. Amen. Submit. Amen. Submit to your leaders. Amen. 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 If, they were, if they rebuke you, all right, take it. Come on. I was watching, uh, what's his name, Ryan Strange, and he said that his spiritual leader rebuked him. He was trying to preach. Uh, and then he was talking, Ryan LeStrange was talking to somebody, and then Dr. Noble Hayes, when he was alive, he said, Ryan, be quiet. Stop talking. And, you know, in front of everybody. Mm-hmm. But that, that helped him out because you can't be – Talking, having a conversation in the middle of somebody preaching, that's disrespectful, you know? Mm-hmm. But he took it. Mm-hmm. You know, some of us want to get offended. Oh, no, she didn't rebuke me. No, she didn't re- correct me. You out. And you, you mess up a, a vital, you destroy a vital relationship. <laughs> God wants you to be connected to that person for your destiny and purpose. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I went to church plenty of times. And the, the women, the, the mothers in the church rebuked me how I was dressed. I didn't know. Amen. I didn't get offended. I'm like, yes, ma'am. You're right. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. I didn't know how to dress. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You know, I didn't know how I should act. But I thank God for mothers, that spiritual mothers, that's going to correct these younger uh, women coming up. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. It was needed, amen? Amen. Still Come needed. on now. When God speaks to me sometimes, he's not sweet with me. He's, he's, he's mm-hmm. tough on me because mm-hmm. he expects more from me. Mm-hmm. You know how I many times God rebuked me? Mm-hmm. And guess what? I'm not going to be mad at God. I take it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. Okay, I'll do better. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Amen. Why can't we take it when our, 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 our so-called spiritual so-called spiritual leaders rebuke us. Mm-hmm. You were loving them, you know, before, but as soon as they rebuke you, you, you want to run away. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Any relationship we're fighting for, you're going to go through some up and down. Period. Mm-hmm. Amen? And the enemy attacks relationships that are uh, pivotal to take you to your next season. Mm-hmm. Come on. My my pastor rebuked me before. You know? Because I'm, I'm, I'm so, when I say I'm an introvert, I'm an introvert. He got on me, too, and I took it. I didn't get mad. I didn't quit. I didn't leave the church. He mm-hmm. said, you need to be more social. And I was like, wow. You know, and the way he said it, it was like kind of offensive a little bit. But I took it. You know? Mm-hmm. And I thought, okay, fine, you're right. I do. So now I make it a point. If I do anything, I'm staying behind. I'm I'm going to be the last person out the building, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be more social. Yeah. You know, you got to come out your cave sometimes. Mm-hmm. All right? So I love you guys. Amen. And I'm always going to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. And you Amen. have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.